Hey YouTube, this is the McFarland Lake Campground at the very end of the Arrowhead Trail in Cook County in far uh, northeastern Minnesota. This campground has seven campsites and they don't charge you to camp here. Uh, that's a really great thing. A lot of these uh, campgrounds you have to pay nowadays, but this one is fee free. And years ago they used to charge you to camp here, but not anymore. This box right here is where you used to put your money. <coughs> this campground has seven campsites. And right now I'm the only one camping here, so that's a good time to do a video. So this is where you park your vehicle here. And this is campsite one. That's your fire grate there. Toby's really good at showcasing all this stuff. <laughs> okay, this is campsite number two. That's where I am. I really like this one because there's a lot of room and it gets lots of sun. <clears throat> Continuing on here. This road here eventually goes to private residences, so you can just go to the one uh, campsite here on this road, which is right here, and you got your own. Go back. So this is campsite number three. This is where you park your vehicle. And this one's nice and private. <clears throat> different firing. And continuing on. Okay, here's the biff. Real simple. This is a really big parking area here for vehicles and stuff. A lot of people uh, will park in here um, too if they are going hiking on the border route trail. There's <coughs> parking over here on the Arrowhead Trail. Uh, at the trailhead of the border route trail, but this is overflow parking. You can use this, no one cares. <clears throat> this is campsite number four. Yeah, this one's a little less private. You're kind of like right on the road here. And what's really weird here, so I'll show you next. Campsite number five, you have to actually come through here. Okay, and the trail goes back here. <clears throat> Very well defined uh, path back here, no problem carrying your gear. <clears throat>
And here's the other one. <laughs> kind of strange access, but this is campsite number five. <clears throat> Get a little bit of sun with this one. But this is nice and big. You can fit several tents in here. <clears throat> There's your fire ring. <clears throat> like I said, there's no fee here, so uh, it doesn't matter what size campsite you're in, you know, small campsite, large campsite, whatever, it doesn't matter, there's no fee, so. You could take one of these uh, large sites uh, if it's just you. So, <clears throat> I like no fee campgrounds. <laughs> okay, continuing on. <clears throat> Huge, beautiful pine tree there. Find a lot of these up here. Really nice. And that is McFarland Lake. And we'll get to that in a minute here. And <clears throat> this is more parking over here. You launch your boat, you can park your truck and trailer here, and you're going into the Boundary Waters, you can park your car here. <clears throat> okay, this is campsite number six. A little less privacy again, you're kind of like camp right next to all the parking. <clears throat> There's your fire grate, and this one doesn't have a, a grill top on it for some reason. Nice little area. Pitch your tent back there, sheltered and stuff. Again, Toby proudly, proud to showcase that for you. <laughs> He's my little buddy, my little partner. Okay, and this back here is campsite number seven. Okay, that's Little John Lake over there. And there's a little river that goes from McFarland to Little John back over here. See the river. You get a little bit of noise here from the Arrowhead Trail, but that's the very end of the Arrowhead Trail out there, so they're usually going pretty slow, so but they can also see you through here, so <laughs> privacy's kinda <clears throat> Okay, that is the campsite amenities at the McFarland Lake Campground. Let's go down to the boat launch. <clears throat> this trail here that you see is actually a portage and it comes from McFarland over there and it just goes over to Little John. So if you prefer not to uh, take your canoe down the river over there so there's two ways to get into Little John there. Actually three. You could uh, just pull up to the launch over there, put your canoe in over there. <clears throat> and the portage comes to a head right over there at McFarland. Okay, going down to the boat launch now. <clears throat>
Okay, and this is the boat launch into McFarland Lake. Beautiful McFarland Lake. Okay, there's two ways that you can access the BWCA here. You can go south and around the corner here and go all the way down McFarland into Pine Lake and that's actually where the uh, Boundary Waters begins over there is at Pine Lake. Um, and then you can come this way and go north into Little John and then John and then you can take the Royal River out of John and then uh, into the Fowls, uh, north and south Fowl, and then uh, go on up north uh, into the BWCA that way. So uh, this river here is usually uh, passable with a canoe. Sometimes it's a little shallow, but usually uh, you can get your canoe through there, so there's no reason to take the, uh, the portage, which comes out right over there. <laughs> you can take motors uh, on McFarland Lake here. Uh, of any size. It doesn't matter if it's a hunter horse or it doesn't matter. You can take any size motor on this lake. Uh, when you enter the BWCA, that is strictly no motors. That's paddle only. So, nice sturdy dock here. <clears throat> the water's kind of a greenish, but it's a very clean lake. And there's all kinds of fish species in here. And uh, it's just a really, really great lake. And it's a nice campground. I've been camping here for years. And then this just circles around here so you can get your boat and trailer out easy. And then it just goes on back up to the Arrowhead Trail. So that is McFarland Lake Campground at the end of the Arrowhead Trail. Um, way up north here in northeastern Minnesota in Cook County. And it's a great little campground, it's no fee, um, and there is a toilet here for those that like that. And so, um, it's a great little campground. Okay folks, thanks for watching, and uh, feel free to subscribe. Um, I love my subscribers, the more the better. And also feel free to comment, I love comments and uh, anything you have to say. And then I try to get back to you as soon as I can, so... <laughs> Okay, everyone, thanks for tuning in.